right, big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming the middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pareda represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup here tonight. former UFC middleweight champion Anderson the Spider Silva is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys in the Anderson game. Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry. Not too bad. Anderson, the Spider Silva has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC middleweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Anderson, the spider. Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this ready. one. Ready. All right, so here we go. Israel Adesanya and Anderson Silva, the second meeting. They met in Australia, UFC 234, back in 2019. Adesanya had the upper hand. We'll see if Silva can exact his revenge tonight. And for Adesanya, he's a guy that has swag. He's a guy that carries cachet. He's a guy that tells you, when you start to fight your idols, you have made it. This is one of the idols. He has really followed the blueprint set by Anderson Silva. Now he finds himself with an opportunity to go two wins to zero against his idol. This is a massive fight. Two of the greatest middleweights of all time. Oh, misses with the jab. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> and they are exchanging leather early. Silva's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh, man, both of these guys didn't really take a shot. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Throwing that 
that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, beautiful land there by Anderson Silva. Age is just a... Oh! Oh! Huge left! Big right hand. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night that that landed. Just over three minutes now to go. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like to. Get a guy hurt, you got to fight away to get Bunches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. So three total strikes have landed for Anderson the Spider Silver. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Adesanya. Just over two minutes, round one. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Adesanya. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely going at it. Let's see who'll have the upper hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. The fighters separate. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Yet another nice leg kick there by Silva lands flush. Oh, beautiful straight right hand there from Israel Adesanya. You know, you worry so much, DC, about the kicking game. Sometimes you forget about those hands on Israel Adesanya. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Nice kick there by Silva. All right, so Anderson Silva striking has been on point here tonight in this crowd, almost waiting with bated breath to see if he can close the show. That's limited to Anderson, right? You know something big is coming, so you sit in your wait. Tonight, his striking has looked so good that you know it's only a matter of time before he gets his opponent out of there. He has looked amazing tonight, and it all is due to the fact that he's such a high level striker. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Well, Silva's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs, that is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Oh, we'll see how it goes here in round two. Ready. Anderson Silva. Ready. And that man is real out of sight. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Silva. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Back to his feet. Head kick there blocked by Silva. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just sneaking out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. 
He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asante. Nice straight punch. Left hand is there for Silva. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within himself, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. What a nasty kick that was thrown with ill intent. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. 78 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. 38% thus far against Israel Adesanya. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, kick to the head. That can't feel good. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Well, when you see Adesanya work on the feet, it's no wonder he's drawn comparisons to the great Anderson Silva as he is so fond of saying, I don't throw in hope. I aim and fight. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, spinning back fist. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Unable to connect with the right. There's that kick. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Look to the head there by Silva. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to him right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Yeah? He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, big left. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on this play here. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he's gotta figure some things out defensively or this fight's gonna end. He's gotta move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. 
Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Adesanya's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles... Oh! Lands the inside leg kick. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see. Oh, he landed a flying knee there. Nice punch by Adesanya. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. Oh, no. Process tonight, both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, Silva's eye starting to swell now. Ooh! if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go first. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Adesanya is doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. There it is again. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Usual suffocating work from the top here by Silva lands flush. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anderson, the Spider, Silva! Well, his smile lights up the room, and his performance lit up this arena tonight. Congratulations to the wildly popular Anderson Silva. 
no matter where we go in the world, Silva about as beloved and respected as it gets, and you've got to think he still enjoys a win of this magnitude.